Hey crafty cuties, I'm at Michael's and it looks like I've found some new things. At least I haven't seen these things. I'm usually behind, but hey, I thought I would show you because I know a lot of you love washi. And again, maybe these aren't new, but I haven't seen like this llama one. Try to get a better view for you guys. Really cute. Then there's this one, kind of like a baby theme. Like, I don't know, that'd be really cute in a baby book. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. Okay, and the, these planner items, like, definitely look new to me. At least some of them, because I feel like maybe I've seen that. I don't know, guys. I see some new punches behind me, so we'll look at those in a sec. I'll just kind of give you an overview. <gasps> these are, these geometric uh, sticky notes are pretty cool. Now, I feel like I've seen a lot of these stickers before, but what about these little sticker books? $9.99, they just have like planner stickers in them. Um, these little bags are kind of cute. They come with a washi, some stickers, and some little clips. A little cactus one, it's cute. And then there are these, oh, funny, there's a uh, unicorn and a llama. Oh my gosh, these are cute. Okay, I've been wanting to make something like this for a long time. They are little sticker books, I believe. So it's just like a little wallet, but you know, you can put your stickers in it if you um, are into planning. So yeah, I've definitely been wanting to make these for a while. I just didn't know how. So there we go, Michael's, Michael's took my idea, darn it. But I thought that these punches might be new. They are embossed and punch which is always a pretty cool idea hey look how cute the owl is that is really cute so i was seeing if they had any christmas stuff and no they don't and then also i need to get some refills of my um blades because my paper trimmer just sucks okay so that was all i saw new for paper crafting but hey they're getting some halloween decorations out look at these towns they're so cool, oh my gosh. <gasps> I wanna decorate for Halloween, but it's so expensive to like buy, I don't know, I don't have very many decorations, so I'd have to buy like all new decorations. But they are just starting to put this stuff out at my location. So cool. And then this is some more I guess fall related stuff, fall pl plus <laughs> Halloween. Oh my gosh, guys, I, you know what? I love summer so much, but I get so excited when fall gets here. I definitely, definitely want to decorate for fall already. What the heck? They got some really, oh my gosh, really cute stuff. Look at how cute those are down there. Exciting. Let me know. Let me know if you guys have found any Halloween or Christmas paper because I really I need to get started like now <laughs> for December daily, October daily, so I need to find those things. Then they have some more like kind of playful decor for Halloween. So this is exciting, but this is about all. Not like this is actually quite a bit, so I shouldn't say that's all but I am most excited to find paper crafting stuff. Then of course they have all the florals. All right guys, so there wasn't too many new things besides Halloween, but I thought I would go show you what I got. I had kind of a big pile and I put over half of it back because I was like, okay, yeah, I kind of need this, but I don't need it right now. And I was trying to spend the least amount I could. Um, I, this is a repurchase, and I got this paper pad for the second time now, and I'm not even done using the first one, but it's all cut up, 
um, that I'm using it for two journals that I'm making. And Amelia, who has already purchased a couple journals from me, um, commented on one of the photos of a, like I showed like a little sneak peek of one of the journals I made with this. And she was like, I want that one, but it's already taken. So anyways, I was talking with her and she really wants one that's similar to that, but I already yeah anyways so I would need another paper pad to make that for her so I grabbed it and just because it was the very last one they had and so I grabbed it and if for any reason she didn't actually want to purchase the journal I'll probably just return the paper so I'm gonna make sure she wants it before I keep it because otherwise I'm probably not gonna make more beachy journals um, the second thing I needed some replacement blades I hope this helps out my um, paper trimmer because it is crappy and I feel like it's not the blades but I am hoping because I need it to I need it to work for me and then I grabbed these teeny little charms for the beachy journals that I am making I'll probably use them on paper clips so that's everything I got um, like I said I had a few more things that I had and I put back I really been wanting to make a sewing vintage like a vintage sewing themed journal and I've been collecting things here and there like little things I just I'm not very confident I've never made one I don't exactly know like what types of things to go in them except for you know images of dress forms and needles and things like that well anyways I was just about to buy some charms that had really cute vintage scissors and a dress form um, and a spool of thread and then there was also this really cool 3d sticker and I almost got them but together it would have been like 11 bucks and it's just really hard to keep the cost down um, when I'm making a journal because you know the more that I have to spend the less profit I make and again I, I hate talking about money like that but it's just true um, I end up spending a lot of money in these journals you know I put a lot of product in the journals and I honestly don't make that much profit and so for the time that I spend on the journals when it's all divided and said and done you know I'm not really charging that much but anyways guys that's everything so I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys later bye